Want to freeze defenders and create more open shots? We'll dive in as I teach you the lethal hesitation pull-up jump shot. Let's get it. Let's jump right into why all defenders fall for the hesitation pull-up jumper. It's because of what they're trying to protect. See, they're trying to protect the rim. So as you go into a stutter move, they're gonna start backing up because one, they wanna protect the rim, and two, they're getting ready for what they think is going to be a drive. And then all of a sudden, that's where three, you come into it with a hesitation, one, two, pull up jump shot. And there's no one right now to me in the world that does it better on the NBA stage than Kevin Durant. Check out these hesitation pull up jumpers. Watch him go to work, let's get it. Okay now, you just saw KD go to work. And what I want to teach you is one, the dribble technique move that he gets into as his hesitation pull up. And I'm going to tell you a situation as to how you can also cue this move when you can see actually when to start doing it. And two, I'm going to teach you the footwork. And the footwork is nothing than a one, two step that you already know. I'm going to put it all together. Then I'm going to put in some game situation. Let's get it. Let's talk about the dribble at attack basketball. Footwork and handle that you're gonna do is what we call a float or skate dribble. A float or skate dribble is if I'm actually going laterally sideways to my right, it's almost like I'm doing a defensive slide. I wanna do the same thing going left. But the key to this as I turn my back to you is along this three point line, see what happens is the defender cannot go around this angle like I can. So you probably heard me say this before, what you wanna do when you're doing a Florida skate dribble is you wanna break their angles. Not their ankles, you wanna break their angles. See, on this angle here, on this arc, imagine you on offense against me and you start floating to the left. Well, what I can't do is I can't float with you chest to chest. I'm giving up, exposing where we just left. That's why what's going to probably happen is if you start floating to your left with this basketball, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to start backing up because I'm thinking that attack is coming. And all of a sudden now you have space, and space, specifically speaking, is called separation of distance. You have the separation of distance that you want to create to now get into your shot, which is going to be a one-two step-in shot. And why the one-two step-in shot is lethal is because it looks like you're driving to the basket. So now putting it together, if I'm floating to the left and all of a sudden you go here, one, two, you done stepped into a jump shot. But when you went into that one, two step, that looks like you're going to the basket easily, right? That, that, uh, that defender does not know if you're going to continue to go to the basket to go score the ball. Okay, so now let's break down the handle. It's a float. We're going to go three floats to the right, three floats to the left, keeping it very basic. Create space, separation of distance is what we want. Keep it simple with a simple crossover, right? I want you doing this five times. One. Every two is one. Two. You can mix up how you change it. Three. Four. Create separation of distance. Last one coming. Five, right? I want you doing that for three sets. Going to the left, come back to the right, vice versa. That's one. I want you doing that five times. It's also a good physical conditioner for you. You're gonna feel it. If you gotta break it up because you're a little tired, step up, knock down a free throw or two, and then get back at it. Now. That's the footwork, right? The handle, keeping it simple. As you saw, it's a pound dribble, right? I can mix it up with the change, with the between. But now, think about this. I'm attacking a defender. As I'm attacking the defender, now this is where you get into the move. The defender did a great job 
of not allowing you to go through them. They're making you go around them. And what you want to do, you want to see if you can get outside their outside foot. So now, my right foot, according to the basketball, and let's say the basket is behind the chair, the term is outside inside. And when you're doing a float skate dribble, again, dribbling laterally the same way the ball's going, the key is to get outside your defender's body. Eventually, what they're gonna do is, again, they're gonna start tracking backwards. That is now when you go into your one-two step, whether it's a right, left, or left, right. In this case, because the ball's in my right hand, even if you're right-handed, you're gonna step into this with right foot first, left foot second. Your right foot steps forward, your left foot stays back, and you're gonna lift it to your shot. Okay, so it looks like this, right? Look at my feet more than anything. Right, one, two. You want to have a short step for that last left step so you can then burst in the air. Work on the footwork and the handle together. Slide, slide, one, two. Jump, pretend you're going to shoot it. Go away from the basket. Work on your footwork. It's a right, left. Right, left, shot. All right? One more time. Here, here, right, left, shot. Now, if you are left-handed, like me, the left foot does not stay back. It actually goes forward. It is still a right foot first, left foot second footwork approach. It's like this now. Slide, slide, one, two, left foot goes forward. So you get a feel for the skill away from the basket, work on the most important part, which is the hesitation to the pull-up. Jump shot, right? However you get into it. One, two, set up, right? Hey, we're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We need your help. We roll out high quality videos every week to help you become a premium basketball player. Help us reach our goal and click that subscribe button. Now, we use the chair as a guide. What I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna penetrate down the middle as if I can't go. Now I'm gonna break down my move and I'm gonna start floating and skating outside the chair. And as soon as I get outside the chair, I'm gonna go right into that right left shot, pull up jump shot. I'm gonna make three with my right hand, let's go. Attack the middle, left hand, change it, float, float, one, two, shot. That's one. Right, create space, separation of distance is what you want. Float, float, one, two, shot. Hold your fall through for two seconds. Last one. Right, coming to it. Can't go. Float, skate, get outside that body. One, two, shot. I'm gonna do it as if I'm left-handed. Same thing. Coming down. I can't go left. I might change direction. I'm floating and skating. They back up. Now my left foot goes forward. This is my lefties. Let's go. Tack, slide. Slide, one, two, lift up shot. That's one. Really good understanding. Get outside the outside foot, lift up, that's two. Last one. I can't go by him. Slide, slide, outside that foot, lift up, one, two. Bingo, there you have it. Breaking down the understanding, it's a really good move to use on a pull-up jump shot. Again, understanding why. Your defender did a great job of taking away your downhill attack. But instead of retreating, we still have another way to attack them. By getting outside the outside foot, lifting up and knock down that shot. Let's go. I want to make sure we're taking your game to the next level. So I'd like to offer you a gift that covers all the must-know basketball principles. Click that link in the description below to download. And if you're really interested in becoming a premium basketball player, or as a coach, taking your team to the next level, contact us for in-person training. That's right. We will travel to you and lead a customized camp, clinic, or training session that I guarantee you as players and as coaches will take your mentality and your physical skills in basketball to the next level to dominate in every game. Enjoy your gift. Keep attacking. I look forward to talking to you soon.